Hey guys, Jay Mart here, and I've got an exciting video for today. If you notice behind me, I got a few different props. We're gonna do some special effects with projection mapping today. We'll break it down to three different parts that you can watch and the tools that you can use to do your own show if this is something that you would like to do yourself. Make sure to watch to the end as I have some really fun content for us today. Also, point you the right direction so that you can get this information yourself and put together your own projection show. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. I got a fun video today that I'm gonna be doing projection mapping using Atmos FX Special Digital Effects and then using CapCut as a video editing tool. And then also a free tool for um, a projection map that will tie everything together. I'll show you what the key components are in this three part uh, video. So first part, is the most important thing is creating a map so essentially i've got my projector it's above my head it's right there it's in a fixed position it's not gonna move so when you're setting it up outside or anywhere that you're doing a projection show you would want to make sure you do something similar so there's this program this is a free website i'll put a link to it and you just download it and it works great for Windows computers, I'm not sure about Macs, but I'm gonna go ahead and launch this real quick. And it's gonna bring up a big white blanket. So you just saw my backdrop change in the, behind me. But this is my laptop right here, so it mirrors exactly what is behind me. I can see everything right there and I'm gonna be making a map to that. And we're gonna identify a few things. So looking right here in the camera, Got a ghost here, some pumpkins here, and then my screen in the back drop. So we're gonna map those three things. Uh, we're gonna see my mouse, see it right here. I'm gonna draw outline to my frame I built for a window. I'm just gonna write through the ghost and stuff like that, that's fine. But I wanted to know what that is. And then let's draw an outline of each one of these pumpkins. So we know where to put the faces are for these. So you would do something very similar to this when you are creating your outdoor setup and then you can have this to reference when you want to go do all the video and editing inside instead of having to do it outside. So now that I've got that drawn, let's come back over here and you're gonna see this on my laptop screen right there. So those are my grades that I just created. Now let's go into part two. So I, there's three different parts um, effects that I'm using from Atmos FX. One of them is gonna be as a window decoration, which is this one. We got a ghost, so we're gonna apply a ghost, and then we got three pumpkins. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up a little mini show with all of Our formatting is gonna be a little bit different on this. So we're gonna to have to realign and that's why we had to do that map and that will be in part three. But let's play around with just some of the video editing. Let's get rid of some of these distracting lights for a minute. Now you can see the backdrop a lot better. Now I wanna crop that into the frame. We're gonna do a crop. All right, so that brings this up and we're gonna get this lined up properly so it fits behind the screen for me firm that and see what that looks like. So it's close. Let's get the right side here. Just a little bit more dialed in this way. Confirm. And now I should be able to do this. So perfect. So we're in the window frame now. So you can see how that perfectly lined up there. So now that I've got that there, let's go ahead and bring in my ghost. So let's click on crop. And let's narrow this in. And then another trick that I learned that worked really well on this is actually doing a mask. And we're gonna do a circle mask. And what that does is it isolates the ghost a lot better without having all the extra wasted space. So that will look better on our window effect that we have behind us. And then he's gonna fit perfectly right there. Cool. So he's in. Now let's do our pumpkins. So we got our fun little pumpkins. For this part, we have three pumpkins. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and copy this and make three. So let's line these up and we're gonna just do the sand crop function here. And 
Let's click on this item and then hit crop, bring it up. Then we're going to isolate each one of these pumpkins to their specific base. There's that one. So we did one, number two pumpkin now. Let's do the third one. Perfect. So now let's look behind at me again and let's get on to their specific pumpkins, right? So I don't know how I rotated that one. Let's put them back. I clicked the button somewhere. All right. So let's check this guy out. I wanted him to be this one. Perfect. So this pumpkin. And then him up. Perfect. And then our last little pumpkin. The act up makes this really easy to move things around. So now we've got pumpkins, a ghost, and a window effect. So now let's just see how this looks real quick. Uh, if we go here and hit play, we'll do some window effect stuff. And then our ghost friend will come on here in just a second. There comes our ghost, gonna sing a little song. And we're gonna take that screenshot that we have. So the office test that I created, bring it into CapCut. So let me put that on here and drop it in this right here and then this is where you can realign everything so that we were just having fun with just trying to make sure everything was working properly we like the special effects we narrow down to what songs that we want and all that but now is the part where we can do a realignment everything inside of the editor so now that i got this over here let's bring this here and we're gonna just drop everything to the grid. So we got the window here, right? We'll save that one here for last, but let's get our ghost host here and this pumpkin here, make it a little bit smaller because this is gonna be your ratios that you want. You actually save the file once you're done with the show and then you're gonna export it and play it on a flash drive or a media file or something like that. So there we go. So that's how you can get that all lined up over here. And I put it on my projector. Hey, it looks all off, but that's only because we're not seeing it in full screen. So now if we click here in the bottom right hand corner and the aspect ratio is 16, nine, we're going to expand and go through the full thing. And then there you go. You can see that pretty much everything lined up. <laughs> all right. Look how freaking cool that is, guys. See, guys, these are actual pumpkins that we're projecting on. And then our ghost. Some awesome special effects from Atmos FX that I use for this video production. And then I'll be leaving some links inside of the de description. So check that out if you wanna check out these products that I use to make this video. Thanks for watching Jmart Hot and hit that like button.